Welcome, welcome, welcome to Onward VR Master League Season 9, Week 11. I'm your caster, Triple Nipple. And tonight we're going to watch Ember versus Fury. A uh, What I'm hoping for, at least that's how I pick my matches, is uh, a good matchup. That's, that's what I'm hoping for. So, uh, hope y'all are doing well. We are still waiting on the lobby to get up. But while we wait, we do have ban information that we can go over. So, on the Ember side, they're going to ban Bazaar. And on the Fury side, they're going to ban Tanker. Now, taking a look at the stats here because... You know, I personally remember playing Ember on Bazaar, and they're pretty good at it. So I'm trying to figure out why they why they banned it. It looks like it's actually their most played map. They've played it 62 times, 340 rounds. They only win it about half the time, though. So I guess it's not their best map, but it's definitely their most experienced one. And Fury banning Tanker, um... Looks like they're just not very good at it. Uh, <laughs> I mean, to put it lightly, they've got six plays and one win. Uh, so not the greatest win record on it. So maybe they just don't want to play it, which I don't blame them. Tanker has a very specific uh, play style, in my opinion, and certain teams excel at it and certain teams just do not do well at it. I mean, we see people ban downfall every time because they're, they just don't play it. You don't want to play tanker, so you ban it. But we are going to see map number one look in. Aha, yes, my favorite. Map number one is going to be Snow Peak. The best, the newest map. Uh, I'm so excited for this. I love this map. I think it's uh, akin to Quarantine, which is another one of my favorite maps. I like the long range and the short range. Uh, you can decide how you want to engage, where you want to engage. So it's, it's just a very, very good uh, mix, in my opinion. And while we wait for these teams to file into the lobby, want to give a shout out to our sponsors that are on the screen. We've got ProTube VR and VR Cover give out some pretty sweet stuff for our uh wild card they give out some prizes you get pro tube uh coupons and things like that as well as steam gift cards and stuff when you win uh the wild card had it or the all-stars had it i can't remember which one but so we've had a couple of things i think there may be something in store for the uh custom map tourney coming up this weekend not 100 percent sure as i haven't been involved in that as much but i am hoping to cast that a lot uh as much as possible because i love the custom maps and i really want to see how teams play and i think the best way to see that is to have that overhead camera that third person view um but we are still waiting on some of the team members to file in here and we are going to be starting off on snow peak with the warehouse objective i know a lot of teams uh haven't really played this map they they play it but they don't have strategies for it yet you know they just kind of go with the flow uh, they're not they're not practicing it um and it's hard to get other teams to practice it i mean to be fair it's not it's not just one team's fault it, sometimes you want you know want to get scrimmed together and people just don't want to play it um but I think that it's well built. We've played it a lot. Uh, SMC has played it a lot. I played it a lot back when it came out when I was on Cats and Hats. We played it a lot. Uh, I personally love it. And I like casting it. It's pretty easy to cast. It gets you a lot of cool moments. You get to see a lot of uh, nifty uses of C4. Uh, you get to see good flanking, good you know, patient defenses, and you get to, you know, find new angles people people are always coming up with new angles as this is one of the newer maps added to the league the the meta is not there and people are still trying out all kinds of new things and spots and you know one day you'll see someone hiding behind a certain tree and you're like oh that's awesome and then another day uh, you know you'll see the same thing and they'll just get murdered so then you know it doesn't work and so people are you know they're watching these casts they're playing the game 
they're practicing the map, but they're still learning how to play this map. And we do have the Ember lineup ready to go. We have Hailfire, C-Max, Milkman, Quokka, and Switch 201. And on the Fury side, so far, we've got Mobstar, War Within, TFH, our fellow caster, and GT4. And we're waiting on their fifth still. Let's take a look at the uh, common match history. It looks like these teams have only played each other twice recently, once in season six and once in season eight. Uh, the first one, season six, went to Ember 10 to six, and the second one went to Fury, but it was a tie game 10 to 10. It's like a very, very close game both times. And Ember actually on the season six one, Ember beat Fury on Bazaar 4 0. So. It's surprising that they banned it, is what I'm trying to say. go we've got our game sounds those good good beeps and everything that we want to hear so let's talk about this objective we are on the warehouse objective and you're gonna have to use your theater of the mind because you can't see what I'm seeing yet but there's two schools of thought so far that I've come across on defending this objective one cram all five people inside the objective and hold tight angles because there are only four entrances if you have five people then you've got the man advantage or, school of thought B, get out and get as aggressive as possible, push out and defend from outside of it with two or three and leave just a couple on the objective. Now, personally, I would prefer to have at least three on this objective just because of all the doors. If one of your guys outside goes down, that opens up a big gap in your defense. And, you know, you've got to watch four entrances with three people or your other guy has to fall back. So. Not a fan of that school of thought as much. Uh, we've also seen some pretty cheesy plays on this one where people walk up to the outside, make sure it's clear, and then just place smokes down through the wall of the building, which I am not a fan of. I would like to point that out. But it is a thing that people do. We do have our fifth on the Fury side. It looks like the fifth is gonna be Evolution. And that makes 10. And we should be starting any moment now. And if you're just joining us from the Onward Master League 3 channel, I do believe there is another cast going on. Welcome. Uh, we can get a multi-stream going. Let me pull that up and put it in chat for you after this round because I just heard the beeps and we're gonna get ready to go into round number one map number one snow peak ember versus fury here on the defense first let's see which school of thought they opt for Oh, yeah, I don't know. God damn it. Uh, why can't I move? Come on, man. Looks like there is some technical difficulties it's on the Fury side. Bad controller layouts. Uh, one player is just not there. And this is. It looks like let's take a look at the ember offense we're gonna pull up the map although it's hard to see the blue on the white but we've got three going through the tunnels one in the u tunnel two in the back tunnel and two coming around the lake side 
but does look like Fury's opting, like I said, for the school of let's not leave the objective because they have to come to us. They can't cap from outside. Switch and C-Max here, crossing lines of fire. Let's look at the lasers, watching each other's angles, trying to protect their, their battle buddy. Go take a look, see over here. Coming out of the U tunnel, we've got Quoka pushing up Horseshoe. And then on the far, far tunnel, the big tunnel, large tunnel, main tunnel, I don't know what you call it. I actually don't really have names for the tunnels, but they Milkman and Hailfire are going to be crossing around to the northeast side. A grenade comes out from Fury. Not really sure. I think it was just a timed defensive grenade. Maybe they heard some steps. It looks like war is back alive. Now it is worth mentioning, so all of these boxes, see mobs are hiding behind here? This is penetrable. Evo hiding behind that, that's penetrable. War hiding behind that, that's penetrable. All of this stuff is penetrable. Bobstar now using hand signals to mark his door. TFH finds Quoka. Not sure, but I think he was looking. Hailfire putting shots onto the door and rotating away. Are they going to continue to try and push this objective this way, or are they going to go back? There are more approaches that they could take. Hailfire looking for that guy. Normally there is someone there behind that box looking through the crack, but that box is penetrable. So I've seen a lot less people going there recently. Once they figure out that they just get some shot, C Max finds Mobstar as he comes out the door. Milkman finds GT. Firing at the door. Flashes coming in. War looking at the smoke. Switch coming running in. War not seeing him. War finds him. Hailfire finds TFH on the backside. Now there's only Evolution. Switches on the objective. He's typing in the code. Smoke's coming out. Evo's coming to check the objective, but I don't think he's ready for this. They're literally... He's looking right... Oh, no! Oh! He just wasn't looking at the right area, and Ember capped. Wow. So close. That was the closest person to a cap I've ever seen. And we're starting off strong, going up two points on map number one. Now, as I was saying before the round started, we're going to get that multi-stream up for y'all so you can see both matches. I believe it will be this one. Out of it with two. Don't need to hear myself twice, but here we go. Here is the link well actually that link is six minutes in the past because chat's real time and I'm six minutes in the future dun 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 I wonder if Fury is going to be swapping out some players as they did have some technical difficulties at the beginning, or if they're just going to spend all that time in the tent and try and get those uh, controller bindings fixed on the side of TFH and uh, whatever was wrong with War. I think he just wasn't there. I think he was AFK when the round started. All right, it does look like there's gonna be a timeout to reset those uh, technical difficulties. So we will be right back after a short break. Don't go anywhere.
unless it's Onward Master League 3 or the multi-stream. You can go watch that, but don't go anywhere else. We'll be right back. And we're back, round number two, map number one. Fury swapped out um, TFH, it looks like, for Bald Headed because of those technical difficulties. We shall now see what the defensive plan on the side of Ember is. looks like they're a little aggressive with the outside defense a little bit more i don't know if i'd be out here i mean this is super exposed outside here and then leaving three inside like i said at least three on the objective fury did spawn way closer so they are now pushing quickly up into the north pass they're sending three north and two to the u tunnel i believe yes making a lot of noise coming up are they aware that war is looking right at the tunnel i'm not really sure why i don't think they know where they're going and c max definitely knows that they're there comes in grenade not cooked well enough war throws a nade and downs himself are not going well for the Fury. That Quoka downs Mobstar and Bald Headed. Those C4s. I just got lucky as hell. C-Max finds the head of War Within. Now GT's gonna try and get the refrag. No evolution. And GT are both gonna get pushy and try and get the refrag. Frag goes out. 
No, Flash goes out. c -Max now backing up behind the tree. Will they be able to see him? They do. Evolution finds one. They back off. GT goes up. They, they don't seem to have a plan here. And they're going to get flanked by Hailfire. Hailfire takes down one. Evolution turns and tries to find him. Cannot find the refrag. Hailfire has rotated back. Is going to make it away. No, he's not. Evolution is going to find the backside of him. That was a 3v1. Can Evo get in this door? It's in a really tough spot. They know where he's at. He's got to rotate somewhere else. Oh, but he could take that 203 and shoot that in there. I believe that's going to be a 203 smoke if I know how Bald Headed likes to play. Maybe it's a high explosive. It is a high explosive. And Evolution gets Milkman. Nice 203 to clear that corner. It's a pretty good spot, actually. Grenades going out. Rez coming out. Evolution's got two minutes and 50 seconds left to play with. Ops to not go that way. He gives up on the tunnel and comes back to the same exact entrance that he's been trying to go through this whole time. Nope, nope, he's going around this indecision is going to cost him a lot of time right now oh but he might be able to see milkman through that crack. I know if you're lined up with it, you can definitely see any kind of movement, but I don't know if you can see this gun just sitting there. Evolution puts shots out, decides to go for it, comes running in, guns blazing, and gets shot by two people. Switch kills Milkman as well. And Ember takes their third point on defense a quick two rounds three points a good way to start off a map and it definitely looks like ember has played this map and practiced this map a little bit more let's take a look at their statistics really quick i don't know if i saw snow peak on here they've only played it twice they've won it both of those times and they've only lost one round overall so uh, yeah, I'd call that a pretty good uh, win rate. It's also worth mentioning that Ember is probably one of the teams. I think they have the most games this season so far. I'm not sure on that, but they're pretty high up there if they're not at the most because uh, they played 15 games so far this season. This being 16, I believe. Rome has played 18. Peacekeepers have played 19. Delta Squad has played 19, so they're pretty up there. Seems like those newer teams are get, trying to get a lot of time in, which I respect a lot. Uh, where is this objective? I was not prepared for this one. Here we go. Let's hop it into round number three. And it is the Shack, the Love Shack objective, as I like to call it. I've seen this one be capped a pretty decent amount of times. So I definitely think it's doable. A lot of smoke can make that really hard to see. War gonna be up here. Is that a C4? Oh, that is a C4. Wait, prop. <laughs> yes, I did. I just fucking Bald shooting war in the back. A lot of miscommunication on the Fury side. That C4 no longer going to be a, a valid defensive mechanic as the man with the clacker is dead. And now 
Ember is pushing up on this approach. And it appears that no one's actually watching it now that they killed the man on it. Oh, Quokka shoots the... Quokka puts shots onto the dead body to confirm him, giving away their approach. Frag coming out. Oh, cooked a little too much. But they should be able to just shoot him. And you can see the backside of him. GT has no idea that this is exposed on the backside. I'm so confused. Shot turning out from a hail fire finds bald. Quoka finds the back of GT and he's going for the objective. Mobstar misses him through the, through the objective building. Quoka reloads, gets down by Switch, and now Quoka is on the objective capping. But they kill him instead. Ember takes map one in a very quick fashion. I mean, that dominating. Uh, I would I would use the term dominating. Take a look. What? Uh, I know both these teams are pretty close on the uh, the rankings. That's the term that I am looking for. Let's take a look and see how far apart they are. They are actually not far apart at all. Ember ranked 18 worldwide silver division and Fury ranked 19 worldwide silver division. So, uh, yeah, pretty close. And we're going to hop into map number two here. It's going to be beautiful, beautiful quarantine. Another one of my favorites. Although, I think Fury will have a little bit more idea of what's going on, where they go. This map has been played over and over and over. And, I mean, it's been in for seasons now. So, it's, it's a little bit easier to play. Also, shout out to uh, Honor Master League 3. Thank you for the rate. Uh, I see that your match has ended. And uh, thanks for everyone coming over and showing up and watching this awesome matchup between Ember and Fury. Hopefully, Fury can rally on map number two and put up some points because I really want to see a map three decider as we always do. That's that's what we want in the Master League casting crew. We want to see down to the wire, third point, like overtime, third map, one to one, you know, fighting it out. That's what we want to see. Now I'm going to take a look at these because quarantine has been in a long time like i said uh ember has played it 31 times and fury has played it 38 times win percentages between the two are 52 and 42 respectively so statistically speaking ember has the advantage here on win rate We are going to start with the North Glass Objective, or Glass Objective. I guess this, there's only one objective. So you don't need to, you don't need to mark it, identify it. It's just the Glass Objective. The other objectives we can have for this map for the new people coming, we can have an objective over here in this building called the East Objective, right there. It just sits there. We have this one right there. We have one in here. Goes right there. We've got one over here in this courtyard right here. We've got another one right here in this garage area right about here. And there's one on the backside of the roof. Those are all the objectives possible for this map. And we're going to hop right into it as we go into round. Round number one, map number two. Ember on the defense, throwing smokes to get those crosses onto the south street. Not going to be necessary as Fury did spawn in the north. Nobody 
checking the spawn, it looks like. It's a really hard one to defend. There's nowhere on objective to actually be. Like, C-Max is in the only defensible spot on the objective, but it's, like, super prone to getting naded. And you've even got a big old backboard of a building. Switch pushing up into the tank courtyard. Looking at the roof, I think he's a little overexposed on his south side to these guys at the gas station. They still have not figured out the spawn yet, it sounds like. Oh, and who is this? Quoka coming up to the plane wing. Just missing the first cross. GT finds switch at the plane wing. Quoka finds Mobstar. One down. That's a long rotation. Hailfire finds GT. You know. At the ambulance. Now we've got War Within, Evolution, and Bald Headed left. Or gets a nade, throws it out. Just a flash. Evolution is creeping up on Hailfire. I think he's going to see him. Hailfire's in a very exposed position. And he's not looking the right way. They're so close, but yet so far. I think Evolution heard him. And the trade comes out. I thought that Evolution might have actually been mistaking him for war because he was so close after he heard the voice. He gave up on the uh, watching the footsteps, but it seems like he knew where he was coming from. Now there's still three members of Ember up, two on objective and one on the south wing, and two members of Fury up, one on the roof and one in center burning. Shots ringing out rooftop. from the south wing towards the rooftop. A long shot, hard to make with the PKM, but... Took the shots anyways, definitely pushing the guy backwards now, bald-headed on the south street. Where is he going to go? He's actually got a very, very clear approach. He could just run up the south street and get to tank courtyard, but instead he's going to cross the line of fire right here and get taken down by C-Max as he goes for the guy on the south wing. It looks like Ember has this defense set up to guard each other as well as the objective. And they're watching crossing lines towards their other players like... C-Max right there was watching the cross towards his guy on south wing. War Within knows that he is all alone. There's no one here beside him. His troubles have all gone. And now, he loots the body. Best part onward. Scavenging from your dead teammates. Right, where are you gonna go let's do a little ride along shall we that's not the right person there we go opting to rotate all the way around the map plenty of time left 245 he's still got to deal with the south plane wing the only way he can bypass the south wing is if he goes directly into the tank courtyard from like burning center and that's really just a normally you would expect someone there and it looks like he's gonna go right towards the south wing again right where those dead bodies are you should see them and know and c-max who does not see him i don't think oh quokka's rotating off of the wing now quokka goes down to war within gotcha, bitch. teams are very spicy today More smokes coming out, giving away War's position. As, you, as the smoke starts to give... It starts to smoke mid-arc, which gives away its, you know where it came from. You can't fake the direction of the smoke. Now War is doing what I said before. He's coming up the south side of Burning Rubble, going directly for the tank courtyard. Best approach possible. He doesn't even have to worry about the, the uh, south wing now. Now Frag comes out on the objective. No, a flash comes out. War is now rushing up. Is he going to get there in time? A trade comes out, and Ember take map point number one on map number two.
Ember with five unanswered points in four rounds. Looks like Fury is going to be swapping someone out. Now, for those of you new to the league, I know we have a couple of new teams and people that want to join. Let me explain the rules to you in as uh, easy ways as possible. So as you can see from the scoreboard, you play three maps. Always play three maps. First team to four wins the map. First team to win two maps wins the series. Even if you win the first two, you still play the third because it affects the matchmaking rating system, the MMR points that everyone has, and matches are generated once a week. You also have a challenge per week, so you can play twice a week at most. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. If you like VR, like shooters, like Onward, uh, and you're not part of the league yet, definitely go over to the vrmasterleague.com slash onward and sign up. And if you're not, you know, if, if, if first person shooters aren't your thing, we have other games that you can sign up for. If you want to play in a league still in a more organized environment, we have Echo. We, ha we have Echo Arena. We have Space Junkies. We have Contractors. We have uh, Final Assault. All kinds. All kinds of games. That's so, you know, whatever suits you, we have it. And if you have something that you think might be league ready or maybe want to make a league, definitely go over to the VRMasterLeague.com. And I believe there's a way to contact the mods and see if maybe your game is going to be ready for league play. If you want to get it added, if you're a dev team, if you're a, you know, a player and you want a more structured approach. But we have Pavlov as well. I forgot about that. We have Pavlov. So, yeah. Hit up the website. Register as a reservist. Find some teams that are recruiting. Join a new team. Start a new team. Join a veteran team. You could, yeah, I'm not your boss. You can do whatever you want. But join the league. It's great. It's definitely more fun than playing in pubs. as long as team games are your thing. And it looks like the last man is back in the lobby for Fury. Uh, actually, it looks like we have a swap. We lost Bald Headed, and we are now seeing TFH back in. TFH being the newest member of Fury. And we are still on this glass objective. This one right here. We're just gonna cozy up to the fire. The non-existent fire. That nice little rumble going on. Not as much fun if there's not actual flame, so let's look at this one. Look at that. Look at that concrete that's on fire. All right, here we go. We're hopping into round number two. Map number two. Ember in the lead with five points. I'm putting C4 on the tank, so please nobody shoot. So, with this objective... In my opinion, it's really important to control the roof in this humble caster's opinion. Uh, just because it lends such a, a good view into the tank courtyard. Those two places those guys are standing, you can see from the roof. and It's just it's just so necessary. And use, you don't even have to be there. Shot bringing out from Revolution. But Switch finds him before you can even get a call out out. Fury stacking hard on the objective. 
Not really sure where they placed that C4, but like... Right there. Oh, TFH looking through a little tiny crack. Look at that. Look at, look at him look through there. But Quorka finds the booty. Takes him down. Mobstar gets the refrag. And tucks back in in his position. Now, he's going to have eyes on him from the roof any second now. As he is super exposed and just shot. C-Max putting shots out. GT finds Hailfire as he shoots Mobstar. I was super confused what happened there. <laughs> it's like it was a trade on two different players. Now War's going to go over and get the res on the black engine in the roof courtyard. Ember, three up. Fury three up. Milkman proning across the street. Not gonna lie, I think Milkman could go for it if he really wanted to. This guy on the roof switch. Taking shots onto GT now. Can't hit him through the Humvee. A trade with C Max and War Within on objective. Now the objective is open. Shots from GT. Mobstar getting a little peaky in the tank courtyard. Another trade. Switch and GT go down. GT still alive. Down but not out, as they say. Now it's all up to Milkman. And Mobstar just gave away his position. Milkman just has to find this last guy, and this mob star is definitely getting very aggressive. He has to make sure that objective is clear. Milkman finds a headshot, and Ember take the second point on map number two. Is that last man standing? It's a super, super tense spot to be in. You have to make sure both angles of the objective caps are clear. You've got to run around, and you can't just sit and hide because that's how you get capped on. It's better to get shot than to get capped on. Now we move on to the burning center objective. Now there's one thing I do know, Fury if they can get to the objective, have some of the fastest cappers in the league. I mean, if you blink, you miss it. I know I've been in lobbies with, I think it's GT, and I see, I see him get to the objective, call out on the radio that there's someone on objective, and by the time I'm done saying objective, he's done. I mean, it's cap. There's nothing you could do about it. So if you miss him, if you miss his cross to the objective, if he gets into this smoke in down here, I think he could get a cap. My question is, can Fury do that as we hop into round number three? Ember has been doing very well this match. See what they opt to do here. Oh man, pushing up into the roof courtyard. Hailfire in the burning rubble. Quoka going to white car. Fury did spawn in the crater and are spreading out, as you can see, trying to get as much ground between their players as they can, but it's a very difficult objective to get away from. Poka now running up towards the semi. I don't think they saw him make that cross. 
And now Lockhart's gonna get shot out in the open. Quokka takes one down. Illusion now looking for the player that downed his teammate in the north. Quokka gets the confirmed shots, gives away his position. Evo knows where he's at, is looking. Cannot find him, and he make Quokka making some good rotations here, pushing Evolution back and putting pressure on that corner. DBNO down, but not out. Now, War Within's going to get shot in the back if Switch looks back this way. He finds him. Switch takes him down. Switch is in the tank courtyard now. A very aggressive defensive position. Now, TFH crossing the open because he has to get somewhere that he can guard himself from that guy. Comes out, firing Switch. Goes down. TFH gets the kill. Milkman now in the roof courtyard. One still in Bernie Center. Shot ringing out on the TFH from C Max. I believe, yep, C Max, top floor, center burning. Three on three and a half. The one in the north is still able to give out call outs, which is going to be super helpful as they will be able to identify that flank for another about minute. I think you have like two minutes before you start to die, or before you die uh, in a down but not out scenario. TFH swinging that smoke around. GT pushing up into the tank courtyard. Lobs the nade. Nope, that's a smoke. Hailfire finds TFH. Two smokes come out from GT. And he's gonna... I think he's trying to go for that cap. He really wants to get up in there. GT looting a dead body. Milkman finds him from roof courtyard. Not sure what the plan was there. Maybe he saw a smoke and really wanted it. Uh, and this last guy is gonna get called out by... by Quokka. Yep, there's the call out. And the roof finds a milkman, takes him down, and Ember goes up. Third point. It's not really what I expected out of this match when I picked it up. I thought this was going to be a very close match, and I'm not really sure why Ember is running away with it. Both these teams are good, and I felt like this was an evenly matched game. I wonder if there's just a little bit of uh, new team cohesion issues on Fury's side with the new members, or if it's just a bad day. I mean, you could have those. I've had bad days. But it does look like we're having some more technical difficulties. I wonder if Fury's swapping out another player. I know a lot of people say that when you swap players mid-match or map to map, that it throws off your team dynamic. You're used, you're like you you lose your momentum. And I I disagree personally. I think if say you've got someone that's better at quarantine and you always play that person on quarantine. And then you've got someone that's better at downfall and you always play them on downfall. Your, your lineup is going to be used to playing with those people on those maps as long as you practice that way. So, I mean, as long, you know, they might not be as warmed up as the guy that just played map one, but if they're better at it, I would still bring them in. But also, maybe you just have a full team of all awesome players, and then it doesn't matter. And if you are winning, you just say, okay, we're going to not put anybody in. We're going to continue carrying this momentum and see how it goes. And then if you go down on the next map, then maybe you bring you know a, a different player in. But, I mean, I get both sides of the argument.
And I wonder if they're taking their second time out. They've already used one. I don't think they used the whole thing, but it, it is in the rules that you have to use a timeout. If you don't, if you can't start within the minute and a half that the tent gives you between rounds, you have to use your timeout. You cannot use timeouts consecutively. You have to play a round in between. And at the end of the timeout, if the time runs out, you have to play with whatever you've got. Those are the rules. And if you are new to the league, we do have a lot of rules. Rules make the fun. So if you haven't, go through and read the rules on the Master League website. And if you have any questions, bring them up with your captain. Bring them up in the sit room that your captain has access to. Or just ask in League General and we can get it clarified. Or DM a mod or a counselor. Because you don't want to come into a match and lose a point because you did something that was against the rules and you didn't know it. We're just gonna hang out over by the warm fire. Welcome to another evening of Onward Master League by Firelight. I'm your caster, the man with three nipples. There we go. Everyone's back in the lobby. Did we get a roster change? Mobstar, Bald-Headed, TFH, GT4, and Evolution. It looks like... Uh, Who did we lose on the Fury side? Bald-Headed came in for War Within. And I think this is... I, I, I think this is what's happening, right? This is... Uh, they're, they're swapping players... And having technical difficulties and that just throws off your momentum it throws off everything i i hate having to swap players mid-round but here we go into the next round we are on round number four map number two ember spawning in the crater mirrored spawns Ember pushing aggressively and quickly. Here we go. Gonna see some action here. Bald headed in the northwest. Five story. They spawned in the crater. Ooh, Quoka downs Mobstar with a nade. I believe he was in the center burning. Hailfire downing Mobstar. Bald headed downing another. Quoka. Oh, lots of fire coming out. I don't think I got all those calls, but one member of Ember down, one and a half members of Fury down. TFH going for it. Quoka coming up into the objective. Quoka's got tablet out. There, there are no defenders on the objective. This is a cap. And Ember take it just like that. 5-0, map number two. Wow, the the pure aggression I have not seen from Ember before. That was a solid play. Just pushing right up through the middle, picking off those defenders on the objective and ignoring everything else.
And we're gonna hop right into map number three, which is gonna be Subway. Ooh, this is gonna be a little bit different. And we're gonna start off with the basement objective. Now, as I said before, once you win two maps, you do win the series. So Ember has one, but they're gonna play the third map just for those MMR points. Uh, if Fury is able to take points back and get five points on this map, then the win is not as, the loss is not as bad as it would be if Ember went another five points on this map, say, and got a 14-0 victory. A blowout does a lot more to your MMR. And here we go, hopping into round number one, map number three. Fury on the defense. We got going upstairs. It does not sound like Fury has plans. Where are you going, Bob? Not that that's a bad that, thing. Uh, that up there, I'm not gonna push it. I know lots of teams that play without strategies, but sometimes it's worthwhile. Here comes the push. One, two, three, four. Evolution is in here. TFA finds one. Goes down. They find another. On the right. Yes, sir. They are on your right. Oh, where'd they go? Hailfire all alone in the tunnel with the shield. Quokai Mobstar trade. One. He's got to get a reload in. Oh, and a knife trade! Oh my god, Fury won. Uh, <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm stunned. I have never. I've never seen a round end on a knife trade. Hailfire, the only one that got a kill or two, two kills on that uh, round. Fury taking their first point of the series. And it doesn't look like we're wasting any time as we hop into round number two on map number one. Map number three. I don't know what I'm saying at this point, guys. I'm still, I'm, my, my head's just like, how did they trade with knives? <laughs> All righty. Let's see what we're going to do. It doesn't look like Ember's going to get aggressive. It's looking like a nice little throw there going for that C4. Um, let's take a look. Act evolution. He is coming downstairs a little slower, I think, than before. Did not just rush directly towards this hallway. See where he goes. What are you gonna do? Yes, yeah, sound on this level is also a little weird. You can hear where Quoka is. You can hear people running through the tunnel. That looks like the rest of them are going on the north approach. We're gonna... None of those worked. All right. Set that up right there. And we're going to go over here. 
Not you. Oh my god, this level. Stop putting me inside things. All right, here we go. Slowly creeping up bald, going in the south downstairs. Mobstar and TFH, TFH with the shield. Are they gonna wait and let him approach first? As that is who should be in front of the line of attackers, Mobstar and Co. over here. What is that? Oh, GT4. Evolution behind Snowman and Quoka. The C4 does not go off. Would have caught him. Bald headed now running in. Switch coming up on the ball. Switch comes around the corner with a grenade in his hand. And Evolution takes down the last man. Fury finding their stride, taking their second point. Once again, Hailfire, the only member on Ember that's getting a kill this map. And Fury doing their best to minimize that MMR loss. We're gonna be on to a new objective now. Ooh, we're going up to the main platform. Yes, sir. Right here, this beautiful objective can be yours for two payments of $59.99. Round number three. Here we go. Ooh, is that a Molotov? Ooh, you got a Molotov? I suspect someone is going to burn to death. I think there's two Molotovs. Yes, sir, two Molotovs. What are we going to see from the Ember side? Looks like four going downstairs into the tunnel. We're going to hop on board. Evolution putting shots out. Grenade catching him it was crazy. Evolution finds Hailfire. C Max finds Evolution. <laughs> Quoka, all alone. Actually, got two members of Fury down. The kill count is incorrect. I'm back here. Ooh, bald headed on the flank gets two. Not really no sure what happened there on the communication side. Mobstar now watching the objective, but is he going to get picked up by Switch? No, Switch goes down to GT. And Fury take their third point. Wow. What a turnaround here. Let me take a look at the stats, guys. We're going to take a look at the stats. It looks like Ember uh, not so hot on Subway. I think they're playing this map specifically so they can learn and practice. They've played it 17 times and only won it four. But on the other hand, Fury has played it 15 times and only won it six. So neither team is super, super hot on the Subways. But it appears that Fury is better. All right, round number four, map number three. Could this be the end? Could Fury take a map in a sweep? Where is Ember gonna go on the defense? I see one guy with a C4. Uh, I see two guys with a C4. Evolution running through the basement stairs. He's going to be ready for that guy that comes down the stairs now. Quoka goes down to Evolution. One down. And 
fury getting fast and furious see what i did there i see what i did there fury furious yeah evolution gets onto the objective goes for the objective but switch takes him down from across the way where are the rest of these guys it's hard to keep track of them they're just rushing so we've got bald-headed tfh and gt4 coming out of the north stairs milkman on objective hail fire switch and C-Max all over here. Nobody watching the north side of the platform. EFH with his shield. That's a pole. They are waiting. I think they're going to try and go for a cap. Hitting that backboard on the objective. Bald headed finding switch. Milkman putting the flash out, takes down one. Mobstar and, and GT both take Milkman down. Hailfire finds GT4, and now it's up to Mobstar and somebody. Somebody else is still alive. So it went. Mobstar goes down to Hailfire, and the last man standing, here we go, bald headed, coming around the overpass stairs. Finds C Max. The 1v1 now. Ball-headed, not very happy about what he has to do now. And a 1v1 Hailfire. I don't, is this a good position? I don't know. I feel like... Well, at this point... If he dies, they, they lose the map. If he gets capped on, they lose the map. So at this point, I think I would be in a spot um, a little more aggressive. I would be trying to get that kill. I think I'd be maybe like over here. I don't know. Bald headed running all the way around the map, opting. So let's let's mark out where he was and where he's going. He was there, and now he's there. But to get there. He went all the way around the outside of the map and into the tunnels, and now he's coming up the tunnels, and he's gonna come out right here. So he's gone a total of like 50 feet. And now he's coming up onto the objective. Hailfire spot, a well-known spot. You can't actually see this side of the objective. You can cap from behind that pole right there, that white one, without being seen from that objective. So if you make the cross, it's Cap City. Bald-headed opting to give up on that. He's got all the time to play with. He's trying to find this kill. I wonder if Hailfire can hear him through the floor. I can't remember. I know you can hear through the, f the walls. I don't know if you can hear through the floor. Hailfire. Rotating into a darker spot, making it harder to see him. Bald still searching. Two minutes left. A flash going out. Random flash. Not going to catch anything. Also not going to be useful. Is he going to spend all his time going back around the map? I think he is. He's going to opt to go out and come out at the... I'm going to bet if I was a betting man, which I'm not, but I would bet that he's going to come out this door right here. Because uh, he's running out of time. He's got a minute 30 left, and he's got to get on this objective. Inaccurate kill count on both sides, I think. No, there were a couple of trades. Hailfire's got to be getting sweaty. A minute 10. Oh, wait. Whose is that? Who has that clacker? Do you have this clacker? No, wait. That's a that's an off offense. Where, where's the defense? Who has this clacker? Not you. Please tell me this guy has a clacker and this is gonna go boom. No, but you did. No. Where? Who had that clacker? Was it you? Did you have that clacker? Ah. Uh, okay. Yeah. 
C4. Not going to be useful. 35 seconds left. Bald checking all over. I think if he sees the C4... Wait, where was it? Oh, I guess it doesn't matter at this point. I was going to say, if he sees it, he might be hesitant to rush it, but I don't think he's going to see it. And uh, he's only got 15 seconds left. Hailfire really just needs to hide at this point, but he is out in the open standing there. 10 seconds left. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Fury. Take it with the timer. Just barely. Wow. I'm impressed. I, I honestly, I want to ask him if he knows how much time was left when he pulled that trigger because it was like two seconds. <laughs> and Fury getting their fourth point on the third map, taking it, but not the series. Able to put up some points though and minimizing the MMR loss. Final score, nine to four. Ember came out very strong on Snowpeak and Quarantine. Um, I, I was very, very impressed with their plays. And Fury showing that, you know, they don't back down without a fight. They came back on map three, took all the points. But um, yeah, good games to both teams. Some, <laughs> some interesting plays. Definitely never seen a knife trade before. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's it for me for tonight. Um, I'm sure there are going to be more casts this week as well as the custom map tournament this weekend. If you haven't signed up, go to League Announcements in the Onward Discord and hit that link. There's a Google form. Fill it out. Uh, you can either sign up individually or as a team. There is not a requirement that you have to be a... Uh, league player I don't think actually um, cooldowns don't matter so if you're on cooldown from leaving a team you can still play in the tournament this is all for fun outside of the uh, the actual league matches so you know if you like the custom maps hop in you'll get matched up if it's just you if you just sign up by yourself you'll get matched up with other solo people it's like speed dating for onward uh, and yeah, I'm hoping that I have some time this weekend because I really want to cast some of these new matches, the new maps. But that is it from the casting desk for tonight. I am your caster, Triple Nipple. Thank you all for coming by, and we are signing out. I will see you all next time.